Hi, I'm Sophie Manuela Lindner. I'm a physiotherapist and a bee girl. This is an urban health tutorial about lower extremities. I'm going to talk about common injuries of urban dancers, give you my advice as a physiotherapist and show you some exercises. Enjoy! Most of the knee injuries in urban dancer happen because of the stop and go movement. A stop and go movement is when you move into one direction, suddenly stop and change into the other direction. This provokes a lot of rotation in the knee and the structure suffer. Another reason for injuries of the lower extremities is because there are lots of movements concerning weight loading in a maximum flexion of the knee. This happens a lot in the crouch position of doing footworks. Another injury movement is the transition from the standing position to the footwork position. Try to go down with control. Lots of injuries also happen because of bad technique. We crash on the floor and hit our knees. Try to use some protection, such as knee pads or gymnastic mattress. Now my advice as a physiotherapist, do moves you're able to do and that suits the anatomy of your body. For example, you can do a W when you got enough internal rotation. If you don't have it, work on other movements. And also doing full works, try to shift your body weight from your feet to your hand and try to find a balance into it. In the lower extremities, it's important to train force, balance and proprioception. Now you're gonna see some exercises. We're gonna start training the proprioception. This is the static way to train your proprioception. To make a dynamic exercise for proprioception, do the same thing and give a ball around your waist. You make a variation also with giving the ball under your leg. Now bend your knees and do some squats. It is really important that you work with closed eyes during all the exercises for proprioception. Now we are going to strengthen the lower extremity. Start in a squat position. Now open into a side lunge. Turn over into the normal lunge position and now go back into the first squat position. To add an extra exercise, go down on one leg. Now repeat the same thing to the other side. It is important that you have control of your kneecap. Make this exercise in front of a mirror. Look at your kneecap and make sure that it is not going to the side. Now we are going to do some stretching exercises. Grab your foot and pull it backwards. It is really important that your hip keeps in the front. You can also do the same exercise on the floor. In each stretched position try to stay for about 30 seconds. The next exercise is stretching your hamstrings. Lay back on your back, pull one leg towards your upper body in extensional position. Now bend your foot and your head at the same time. We are stretching your neurodynamic system. Everybody knows the typical pain in the groin, doing power moves such as windmills. This happens because the foot is being teared out by the force and the adductor muscle is too weak to resist. We have to strengthen the adductor muscle, especially the beginning. Now, my advice as a physiotherapist, it's really important to warm up before doing power moves, especially doing windmills, and we have to warm up the whole area of the muscles of the hip. So we stay here and make some swings to the front and to the back. Try to stabilize your stomach and then try to swing to the side as well. Now we are going to force the muscle of your hip. Lie on your side, your feet are together and open the upper knee towards the ceiling. In the next exercise we strengthen the abductors. Lie on your side, put your upper leg strength and push it towards the ceiling. It is important that you don't go up in an exterior rotation. That means that your toes are not looking up. 
try to think that your heel is pulling up. Your leg has to be parallel to the floor. Do this exercise for 20 repetitions at each side. Two series. Now we are going to do a partner exercise. To especially strengthen the adductor muscle, we can do these special push-ups. I call them adductor push-ups. The helping person crosses his arms and puts his hand on the inside of the knee. While doing a push-up, the helping person puts some resistance against the inner knee of the person who does the exercise. Now we are going to stretch the muscles of the hip. We are going to start with the external rotators. Lie on your back, put your right foot over your left knee and with both hands push the left leg towards your body. You can vary the intensity while changing the position of the foot closer to your center. In the next exercise we stretch the external rotators and the glutei. Lay down on your back, put one leg over the other looking to the side. With your hand push gently on your leg. Your head is facing the other direction. Now we stretch the flex of the hip. It is called psoas. Lay down facing up. Pull one leg towards your thorax with a maximum hip flexion. Keep your other leg straight. It should remain on the floor. I hope this video has helped you. See you in another Urban Health Tutorial. Keep on rocking and stay healthy.